This is my battery box I've set up uh, for inside the Dalek to provide power to all the body functions. So the dome lights, uh, the Vox, the amplifier, underskirt lighting, possibly some fans for inside for air conditioning. It's just a plastic box um, from cheap store and then inside it I've set it up I have a uh, 12 volt sealed battery this one's a 9 amp hour model so it's got plenty of life you'll see running off that I have a master fuse first thing connected to the positive check the whole setup and that then runs to a switch which is the master switch provides on off We've then got a fuse box which has got separate blade fuses in uh, based on the requirements of the various components running off them. Most of them are 2 amp except for the dome lights. And then on this side I have a buzz bar for the negative connections. So the negative running off the battery to the bar and then from the bar to all the DC sockets and also just a LED just used a spade fittings to connect everything the LED is just simply to show if there's power there is provision there on the fuse box to add another four uh, sockets so if I want to expand later on I've just mounted it on a piece of MDF to sit in the bottom there that I can screw the fuse box down to and then everything fits in the plastic box I've then just used four small screws and bolts to hold the lid down firmly so it doesn't come loose and can easily be removed to charge the battery or to get in there and work on anything as you can see, the LED just shows when the power's on, when the master switch is flicked, and I'm able to provide power through the five 2.5mm DC sockets. It's then just a matter of connecting the components using leads with 2.5mm DC sockets. So plug one in there, in this case the amplifier. Connect the second one to the power in on the amplifier and just test it. Power on at the mains, power on the amplifier. You can see the light on the amplifier showing it's getting power. The next component is the Vox switch. So this controls the dome lights by a voice second. Just set it up inside a Jiffy box, it's a uh, J-Car of kit and uh, I've replaced the inputs with 2.5mm sockets and I've put on a power light and the actual switch relay light. So first thing I connect up is the power to the actual Vox box. that onto one of the sockets here and then number two just test it, switch on the power and we should get the green light on the box second cable that connects is the actual dome light supply this is a split cable because it carries the power from the battery all the way to the dome lights but it has to go via the box so that the relay switch can switch it on and off so the short end connects to the box, the join goes into the relay, bit tricky because I'm filming myself and trying to hold the camera and maneuver everything. 
and then the long end of the cable will then go into the dome and plug into the dome lights. Still got two sockets left, I've got another one for the uh, Junior. Um, I've got voice working currently through the amplifier through an iPad using WAV files um, and a Bluetooth repeater so it can be used from outside the Dalek but I'm also in the process of building the uh, Adafruit Wave Shield version of the Dalek voice modulator um, so an Arduino will run off here as well and then at this stage that leaves me with one socket spare which will possibly be for the skirt lighting the other piece that connects into the Vox is the microphone which just goes in the top here it's just a small electric microphone which is fed up into the dome and will go somewhere near the speakers and the sound triggers the relay switch so I should be able to switch it on now give it a few seconds and we should see the sound start to trigger the relay switch testing 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 you can see the red light on the box come on when there is sound and that in turn will feed to the dome lights.